Hi, this is demonstrating the app of the week for episode 62. For episode 62 app of the week demonstration, I'll be demonstrating an app called Riff, R-I-F. This is a Reddit client. Just like what the internet is, there's always the good and the bad. And so is Reddit. I am not here to talk about what you should or shouldn't read on Reddit. However, what I'm doing here is demonstrating a client with which you can use in accessing the Reddit portal. For this demonstration, I'll be using my Pixel 6 Pro running the very first Android 13 Developer Preview 1 that was dropped on February 10 with TalkBack 12.1. For switch services, I'm delighted to say that the good old eloquence from Code Factory still even works on the Android 13 first preview. I am on the home screen now and will tap on Riff. Riff is fun. Let's tap here. Open Reddit links with Riff. Android 12 requires manual association of Reddit links. Tap for settings. Riff is fun. What's new? 5.3.1, Jan 26, 2022. Set your flare and subreddit sidebar add images to flare toggle flare filters to match on entire or partial text selectable text and sidebar new setting. Appearance greater than link flare emoji greater than enabled everywhere new setting. Browser greater than YouTube player try web view YouTube player. If native is buggy fixed UI bugs fixed image gallery crash 5.2.3, December 14th, 2021. Fixed networking bugs when switching connections fixed in box. You get the drift. Basically, we're being told as to what is new with the latest update and the previous updates. Upon opening it for the first time, we heard something talking about Android 12. What we're being told here is that by default, Android 12 does not allow us to open up links within the app, and therefore, we will need to go into the settings and choose the links that we would love to have them open directly within the client. We'll be coming to this later on. For now though, there's a done button at the bottom right which when tapped on, closes us out of this what is new. I'll now tap on the done button to close out of the what is new. Done button. Riff is fun. 28.2k and list. I am now in the main UI of RIF Riff. This demonstration is not intended to show you what each and every feature does. However, this is simply to give you a quick overview of the client so that at your leisure time you can go into the app and change things as you see fit. Having said that, I will now tell you the layout of the app. At the very top left corner, we have the open navigation drawer. And then to the far right corner, we got two buttons. There's some more options on the far right corner, and to the left of that is the refresh posts. And nestled between the left and right top corners, we simply have this string of text that says, Reddit. The front page of the internet out of list. Below the open navigation found near the top left are eight tabs. So in total at the top there are eight tabs. We do not have any tabs at the bottom. Here are the tabs starting from the left. Hot tab selected one of eight. We hear hot and that by default is selected. In other words, when you launch the app, the hot tab is the one that is chosen by default. Now I'm going right there we have New tab two of eight. New Saved tab three of eight. Save Top tab four of eight. Controversial tab five of eight. Controversial Rising tab six of eight. Rising Builded tab 7 of 8 gilded and the last tab is comments tab 8 of 8 and list 8 items comments and that's the last tab 
Let's now go to the navigational drawer. That's the item found on the top left corner and see what that contains. Open subreddit drawer, button, out of list. Menu, type a subreddit name, edit box. Upon tapping on the open subreddit navigational drawer, the first place we're placed in is an edit field. In other words, here we could type the topic or the subject matter or the group that we're looking for. Below that we have settings, button. settings and tapping on that will take us to the settings of this navigational drawer. However, below that we have the following. Multis, button, multi reddits, and list. Reddit front page. Filter, button. Popular. All. Announcements. Checkbox, not checked. And then we get to categories. And those are marked by checkboxes. By default, none of these categories is checked. In other words, if there's a category in here that you're interested in, you will check the corresponding checkbox for that category. So you hear checkbox not checked. And if I move my finger down or if I swipe right, for example, more actions button. There's some more actions. If I swipe or move down my finger one more time, picks. there's picks. So in other words, if I check that checkbox, I am checking the checkbox for picks. Next. Checkbox not checked. More actions. Ask credit. Checkbox not checked. More actions. Today learned. Checkbox not checked. More action. Log. Checkbox not checked. More action. World news. Checkbox not checked. More action. Science. Checkbox not checked. More action. Yama. So on and on it goes. So there are literally hundreds of these things. And you check the boxes for the ones that you want to have as the categories you would like to read from. Now, if you tap on the more actions that is found between the checkbox and the name of the category, you will see the following items. More actions, button, pop-up window, view sidebar, and list. There's a view sidebar. Remove. Remove and... Notify new posts. Notify new posts. In other words, Whenever there's a new material, you will be notified from within your notification shade. Let's now go back toward the top and tap on the settings and see what that contains. Settings button out of list. Let's tap here. Pop up window, show front page, switch on and list. So by default, we have these ones checked as show front page. Show popular, switch on. Show all, switch on. Show random, switch on. Show mod if available, switch on. And that's the last one. I'll now go back. Riff is fun. 31.3k and list. We are now back to the main UI. Let's now look at the more options found near the top right corner. More options, button out of list. Pop up window, login and list. Tapping on more options, we got login, search posts, submit, settings, theme, Reddit and browser, manage accounts. And that's the last one. Let's now go back up and tap on settings. Now, this is the main settings. It's different from what we saw in the navigational drawer. Settings. Backup service. You can back up your settings using the Android backup service. I do not collect the transmitted data. This will not back up your Reddit account info out of list. Tapping on settings, we got a dialogue that talks about the fact that none of your stuff goes to the developer. And on the left hand side, toward the middle, is the close that is closing this dialogue. You can uncheck it if you don't want your stuff backed up. Let's tap on close. Close button. Riff is fun. Navigate up button. Now we are in the settings and let's go ahead and take a look at what the settings contains. And remember, I'm just going through this. You can check these things on your own or else. This is going to be too long. 
Search settings out of list. We have search settings. General settings. Browser. Data usage. Content filters. History. Drafts. You must log in first. Disabled. Appearance. Notifications. Reddit web preferences. You must log in first. Dis security and privacy. Backup. About. And that's the last one. Let's now go back. Riff is fun. Showing items 1 to 12 of 28. More options. Button out of list. We are back in the main UI of the app. Remember that the tab that's selected by default is the hot. And so there are lots of articles or posts and things like that in this tab. If I put my finger down, we'll hear some of those postings. Seriously? WTF Wall Street Journal, I read .it, 7812 comments, mildly infuriating, and list. Discover up-and-coming artists with music you won't hear anywhere else. Uncharted movie. Expectation versus reality. I write for Twitter. I read .it, 4314 comments. And on and on it goes. Now, if we want to look at the first one, for example. Seriously? WTF Wall Street Journal, I read that IT, 7812 comments, mildly infuriating, and list. Now, before we tap on that to read it and look at the comments and all of that, I do want to mention here in passing that to the left of every single posting are two buttons. One is the upvote and one is the downvote. And these are found at the very left edge of each of the topics. And then to the right edge of each of the topics, we have something that says thumbnail, view link, or something to that effect. And when you tap on that, it'll open you to the story. Thumbnail, click the view link. So if I tap here, for example. Seriously? WTF Wall Street Journal. Image, out of list. Text. The Wall Street Journal real estate homeowner is here's YP apostrophe LL be keeping my shoes on in your shoeless home. Why are you assuming that your guest's shoes are dirtier than your floors? <laughs> anyway, so that's describing some one of the pictures on there and things like that. Now, if we go back Reddit. and you want to see the comments and things like that, what needs to happen is that we actually have to tap on the story or on the posting. So let's find that and tap on it. Seriously? WTF Wall Street let's Journal. Let's tap here. Seriously? WTF Wall Street Journal. I read that IT When you tap on that, then we have some buttons that pop up below that story or below that posting. And here are those items going from left to the right corner. We have the following. Share. Share. I'm going right now. Save. Hide. Ellipsis. Comments. And comments. Now the ellipsis, when you tapped on that, that will show you more info about the person posting the story. Of course, when you tap on comment, it will take you to the comments. So I'll show you an example. Seriously? WTF Wall Street Journal. 62.2K and list. WTF Wall Street Journal. I read that IT posted to Mildly Infuriating eight hours ago by Affiliate Cat X12. And down. 7963 comments sorted by best. There are like over 7,000 comments. Comment settings. You could make the choose the comment settings. Urgelberg, 8842 points, eight hours ago, X2. That's the handle of a commenter. And below that, we will hear what his or her comment is. Do that in Finland and you will end up outside. <laughs> and then... As a damaged, 3826 points, six hours ago. And look at their response. Do that in Japan and you will literally be chased out of the house while being yelled at. I've seen it all. Now, if you want to comment on one of these comments, for example, if we wanted to reply or comment on the one that says, hey, you do this in Japan, and they'll chase you out of the house and be yelled at and things like that, then you tap on it. When you tap on it, we have new buttons and going from left to right, 
that's just below that comment that we just tapped on, we have the following buttons going from left to right. Upvote button. We have upvote. Downvote button. Keep going right. More actions button. More actions. Comment permalink button. Comment permalink. Reply button. Reply. And that's the last one. Now, in order to make a comment or reply, you have to be signed in in order to do any of those. If I tap here, for example, Please log in to reply. Cancel button out of list. It says, Please log in to reply because I haven't signed in. Riff is fun. Reply button. Now, before I bring this demonstration to a close, let's go ahead now and talk about the settings or permissions that I was talking about earlier on when we got started with this demonstration. So for this, you either have to go to System Settings, Apps, Riff, and then tap on Apps Default and go choose the links that you would like to see listed, or simply bring up your recent apps and tap on the info. So I'm going to bring up my recent apps. Recent apps. Riff is fun. 11 of 11. There is my riff. And here you could either activate the talkback menu and then tap on actions and then tap on app info. Or if you're like me and already have a gesture for showing your custom actions, then all you need to do is activate that custom gesture and tap on app info. I'll use the latter method that is using my custom gesture to activate the app info. Actions, close and list. When I activate my custom action gesture, we landed on close. If I tap on that, I'll be closing this from the recent apps. That's not what I want. I want to tap on the one that says app info. App info. That's what we want. Tap here. App info. Navigate up. Button out of list. Showing items 1 to 9 of 14. Upon tapping on App Info, we need to scroll down, find, and tap on Showing items 3 to 13 of 14. Open by default. Allow app to open supported links. That's what we want. So we tap here. Open by default. Navigate up. Button out of list. And here there's a switch that says Open supported links. Switch on. It has to be checked. Now, if I put my finger down and keep going down, zero verified links disabled. Zero verified links disabled because I don't have anything yet. And below that, we'll find the add link. Add link. Tab here. 16 supported links. Amp.reddit.com and list. Tapping here, we're told there are 16 items. Old.reddit.com. Keep going. Mod.reddit.com. New.reddit.com, click.redditmail.com, mp.reddit.com, reddit.app.link, op.reddit.com, ireddit.com, reddit.com, red.it, vred.it. Those are all the different subreddit groups that are associated with the Reddit portal. And there's either cancel to the left or add. Now, in order to add, we have to check the ones that we want. In other words, the things that we want to be open directly within the Reddit client. And as I was going through, there was no mention of a checkbox. However, trust me, these things have checkboxes that you could check. However, the screen reader is not reading those. However, if I tap on one, for example, put my finger down. If I tap here. Checked. It is checked. If I tap on it again. Not checked. If I tap on it. Checked. Checked. So I have checked one. Let me tap on another one and check it. Reddit.com. Checked. And now at the bottom left, I have either cancel or add on the right hand side. Cancel button. Cancel. List. Add button. I'm going to tap on add. Open by default. Add link and list. After tapping on the add, we'll return to the previous screen. And if I put my finger down. Checkbox checked. mp.reddit.com. And. Checkbox checked. reddit.com. If I go down and tap on the add link. Add link. 
14 supported links. Amp.reddit.com. Now we have a total of 14, not 16. So that's how you go about checking the things that you want to add so that you could read them directly from within the client. And that has been Riff.